Well, hello all. I am here to tell you that I am starting a vlog. And I don't exactly know what we're going to do on here, what I'm going to do on here. But I'm telling you, I felt wind on this. Like, this is an idea from God. I'm not even kidding. It's going to be so good. And I think it's going to be the kind of thing where it'll just look different every time. And I don't think it's going to be like a normal vlog. Like, what you think of when you think vlog, maybe it won't look exactly like that. Or maybe it will. I don't know. I'm kind of just going to be playing it by ear. But I will tell you, it's going to be fun. Like, this is an adventure. I'm always around fun things and fun people. I always end up around fun stuff. So, and I'm just kind of fun. I'm fun. So, it's going to be fun. This vlogging journey. Also, just to give you kind of a backdrop and context for the season I'm in, um, God is really real to me, super real to me right now. And I mean, I've known Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus when I was 10. I think I was 10. And so, I mean, I've had a relationship with him for a long time, but... In the last two weeks of my life, he has become a different kind of reality to me. So, all that to say, if I say things like, like I just said, there's wind on this. Well, that sounds kind of weird, but I'm just saying stuff recently that's maybe a little bit weird to some ears. But just grace, have grace for it and know that it's it's coming out of that place of me realizing again how real God is to me. For me, Abby Simmons, how real he is in this time of my life. And if you really want to know, what does that mean? What does there was wind on that mean or whatever? Ask me and I will tell you because I most of it, like I'm not just saying it to be weird. I could explain to you what it meant. So... I am in a place right now where I believe that God, I mean, of course he's God, he can do anything, but I'm telling you stuff that I want to see happen, I'm going to see it happen because my words, my prayers move heaven and I believe that, I believe that, that I can say stuff, I can ask for stuff and it will happen. Because God is huge. God is so freaking huge. He's so freaking huge. So yes, welcome. Welcome to the process. Because that's what it is. I'm just, I'm just in a process. And I wanted to invite you guys into my process. And yeah. It's a party. Speaking of parties, can I just say that this place that I am in, my room, is the happiest of places to me. Like, how can you not be happy when there's succulents in the window? Yeah, if you didn't know that about me, now you know that I am a deep, deep lover of plants. Anything living, but especially succulents, because they like never die. Put them in the window, water them once every couple of weeks, and they stay alive. That is divine. Oh, and also this little guy, this is from my friend Amelia, and she named hers Gary. I have named mine Sylvia because it just looks like a Sylvia. Um, but the fact that Sylvia never dies is straight up from heaven because, like, these poor guys... They're dying. But, I mean, they're just sitting in water. They don't have any roots anymore. So, but aren't they beautiful? Oh. Anytime you find sunflowers in the store, freaking buy those. Because you can't just find sunflowers every day. Also, I'll just tell you guys right now, I am a storyteller. Like, the things that happen to me on a daily basis, there's almost always at least one super either awkward or just funny or just like that happened how did that why did that happen 
kind of things. So get excited because you'll be hearing some things and it's, it's, mm, it'll be fun. For example, this morning I had to go get some blood drawn and I know myself too well now. I've had blood drawn enough times that I know I will pass out or at least get super dizzy and sick if I don't lay down. If I'm sitting up while I have my blood drawn, it will be bad for everybody. So I told the lady, I was like, I get super sick if I don't lay down when I'm having my blood drawn. And so is it okay if I lay down on this table? And she was like, yeah. And so this other lady came in and the table that I was sitting on was way up high and I didn't know how to get it back down. So I just sat on the edge of it while I waited. And this other lady comes in and she got super startled. She looked over and was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, sorry, like, I didn't mean to scare you. And she's like, oh, but you're just like a really big kid. Cause apparently only kids sit on the table. But I mean, hey, better for me to tell them than them have to deal with me passing out. So yeah, just little stories like that I'll be throwing in. And yeah, so this has been vlog one with Abby and I'm excited about the future. The future is bright and beautiful and it's gonna be good. Big love, big love, big love, big love, big love, big big love, big love, big love, big love.